I have found the ultimate loophole in these things. Although the one thing that loophole couldn't account for was the fact that it's very hard to see down here. Did I bring a torch with me? Can I just put a torch in my offhand, or do I have anything that glows? Lava glows, right? Would it glow in a tank? No, it would not. I'm not that lucky. Ooh, but you know what does glow? Inverted illuminant light blue blocks. There we go. That worked. Why is there so much water? Oh yeah, we're underneath an ocean. Dumb question. Ignore that. Yeah, this thing just is straight up a cave. Ooh, dimensional shard. Ooh, lava. Is there a way I can stop cobblestone from entering my inventory? Is there an item I can craft for that? Because it feels like there should be. Right then, so, with all of that lava we can just quickly jump this into the uh, backpack. There we go. I heard that! You can't sneak up on me anymore! Although you can just exploit my stupidity like that, so... Good job there. You know, I kind of missed the mining aspect of this mod pack. I, I know it's really convenient to have literally everything whenever you want, but... I forget, mining's like my favorite part of Minecraft. Uh, very quickly though, I am just gonna quickly tab out of the game, uh, at my own risk, to just check. Aha! I knew it wasn't just called an advanced magnet for no reason. So, items. I can increase the range to 11. I can increase the experience range. I don't know why this isn't just on the highest thing by default, but I can also blacklist items. So if I grab not that, apparently, because my game is now frozen. <sighs> here we go again. Really? I've just gotten back, and you're immediately attacking me. I swear this game sometimes. But, where was I? Oh, yes. Yeah. So, by opening the advanced magnet, you can actually filter the things that you don't want it to pick up. This is insane. Anyone else want to have a go before we get started? No? Good. Right. As I was saying, if we open up the advanced magnet, we can click and put things into the filter, so stuff that it shouldn't pick up. So I've got Scorchia Marble, uh, not Scorchia Marble, Scorchia Cobblestone and Marble. So now, just to test it, if I mine the marble, doesn't get magnetized. Okay, so what I can do now is I can grab a piece of cobblestone, I can stick that in the magnet's item filter, there we go, and now suddenly, it no longer magnetizes to cobblestone. So all I have to do is each time I use my destruction catalyst and it brings me something I don't want to pick up, I can just add it to the item filter. So, if we grab the destruction catalyst once again, let's continue on with our mining. Right, anything in here that we didn't want to get magnetized. Let's see, soapstone, that's a big one, and rocky stone because of the biome we're in. So, you know what, because we don't have any ammo, let's just put that up there for now. Uh, rocky stone, put that in the filter, and soapstone, let's put that in the filter. Anything else? Flint, don't bring me flint. In fact, you know what, don't bring me gravel either. We don't have gravel to put in the filter yet, but as soon as we do, we're putting gravel in the filter. Right then, so, open, opening up the ores backpack, we can start popping stuff in now. There we go. See, already coming along. This is gonna get filled very quickly, I'm gonna be very honest. Shit, did we just run out of EMC? Oh, we did. That's what I get for having, like, the smallest Klein Star. You know what? Side quest after side quest. Let's go upgrade our Klein Star very quickly, because we have the resources to do it. I nearly jumped off the hill then. I forgot I can't fly. That would have been... Uh, very bad. You know, I tried to build this place with accessibility in mind to those that couldn't fly, but I forgot to add a staircase to this floor, so, um... Again, another side quest. Let's not get sidetracked, but maybe we could put it on the board, add a staircase to the surrounding area. Uh, let's uh, charge up our client star first, though. While that's charging up, let's just have a look. We've got the client star Ein, which is the first one, but for the client star Zvi, I think it is. Ein, Zvi, Dry, Vier and then Sphere and Omega. Um, I still don't know why it's in German, but all it is is four regular Klein stars. So what we could do... Um, where, where did I put it? Let's wait for this to charge. And then once it's charged... Any second now. There we go. Let's grab that. I don't know why I just didn't do this. This seems like one of the first things that I do. Let's also take all of these backpacks so we don't lose any. Oh god, this is going to get confusing very quickly. Uh, but let's just drop the client star up top. It's not going to give us ones that are charged, but we don't need charged ones. So let's just take uh, one, two, three. And then we can combine these in a crafting window. Like that. Where did the third one go? There it is. And we can get the client star Zvi. 
and it actually carries over some of the charge, which is cool. And then obviously, I'm guessing the dry is uh, force vi. Yeah, it's force vi. So what we can do is we can replace the iron in here with the zvi. Uh, there we go. And then we can take one, two, three of these, and we can combine the zvi. I'm still having trouble saying that together like this to get a uh, dry and then what we can do is we can stick dry up here and get a bunch of dry and then we can take three more dry and we can make ourselves the vi that is right right eins zwei drei vier the vier and then uh, the sphere is just for vier so we're moving from German to English here uh, there we go let's grab one two three or more of these Let's go one, two, three, and four, and that makes the sphere, and then I'm guessing that the omega is four sphere. Yes, it is. So let's put this up here. Four sphere, one, two, and three. And what we can do is we can combine this together into an omega. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to quickly pop the omega up here because I want to give one of these to Ruby when he comes back. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to very quickly charge both of these up, and then I'm going to drop one of them off in a secret location, uh, ready for use. This one might take a while. Let's just help speed things along, shall we? I know we were supposed to be moving these, and we will eventually, but hey-ho, another side quest. I still have, like, an extra watch in here, though. I have an extra two, so I have no idea where I put the extra pedestals. I mean, it's not like we're lacking them. We've got an entire stack of six here, but, you know. It would probably also help if it was... No, actually, we've got full daylight because the glowstone. Never mind. I'm just going to have to wait this one out, aren't I? Or, on the other hand... Part of me feels like this may slowly start to crash uh, the world, but also it's already unstable, so who really gives a toss? Right, well, while that thing's doing its thing, what can we do while we wait? We need to do something while we wait. I can't just wait here for this entire time. It's going to take forever. But I also can't really fly right now, so there's nothing I can do that would require flight. Well, I suppose I can sleep for one. Just to get rid of the night time and uh, the rain, hopefully. And I guess the second thing I can do is I can start adding stuff onto the to-do list. Uh, or I could if there weren't chests in the way and I left my cardboard boxes in the chest over there. Okay, let's go grab them. And let's just hit the yoinkity sploinkity very quickly right there. Ow, is that what it's like to take fall damage? So mortal. Uh, right, let's collect this, and this, and I think that should be it. I, I shouldn't have to remove any others. It might make it a little hard to see, but, I mean, this is only temporary, so. And yoink. And that is certainly not what I meant to do. And yoink. There we go. Oh, another half a chest. I left the signs in the basement, didn't I? Okay, looks like we're doing a little tradesies. Here's the cardboard box. Give me the signs. There we go. Right then, so the first thing I needed to add on to here, uh, number six, is make the lower... No, I can't fit that on there. Lower tier of base more... That's not how you spell base. More access... Uh, that's not going to fit. A-C-C-E-S-S-A-B-L-E? -S 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 no. A-C-C-E-S-A-B-L-E. And that's how you spell accessible, right? It is, uh, A-C-C-E-S-A... -S nope, that's wrong. Okay, I hate being alive. Uh, it's actually A-C-C-E-S-S-I-B-L-E, -S 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 because fuck the English language. There we go. Make lower tier of base more accessible. And what was the other thing? There was one other thing. There was another side quest that I needed to do. And I don't remember. Oh, yeah, that was it. Uh, number seven is clear away duping abomination. Because to be completely honest, that's the only word I can think to describe that thing over there. It's an abomination. There we go. I had to take a moment to actually type that out. Looks like our to-do list is full. God, that's an interesting sight. I haven't seen this full in ages. Honestly, just ages. I hate not being able to fly. This is such BS. I should start adding rotten flesh and inferium to that blacklist. Right, how far along has it gotten? And it's not gotten at all. 
Uh, the maximum for each of these is... No, that's just their starting thing, never mind. Okay, well, this is probably going to take a little while longer. Right then, I suppose in the meantime, I can have a look at what uh, treasures I actually got from down there. We got 56 iron, which, I mean, not to call irrelevant or anything, but, um... I think I might have 56 beaten slightly. We got stack, two stacks of fluorite, over two stacks of fluorite. We got quite a bit of prosperity. We got some coal, which is nice. So does quartz, uranium, silver, nickel, vintium, platinum, gold, and cinnabar. But no copper or zinc, surprisingly. Maybe it's rarer than I gave it credit for. Maybe I'm at the wrong Y level. Destruction catalyst can be powered on redstone and coal, right? Yes, it can. Let's go back to mining for a bit. Oh, actually, before we go, let's just very quickly um go into claimed chunks and chunk load these. There we go. That should mean that um, it'll continue charging even while we're not here. But given the track record of that not working already, I don't have my hopes up. Ooh, dimensional shards. And oh wow, that already disappeared. That does not bode well. Okay, let's head back. That was a really big waste now that I think about it. Oh my god. That was that was not worth it in the slightest. Ooh, X petrified. Huh. So I've just looked into other ways to charge the Klein Star, and apparently, in the original Tekkit pack for Tekkit Classic, the best way of charging the Klein Star was to put it inside of a transmutation tablet and then to feed it stuff. So I say we try that, because I mean, what's the harm in building a transmutation tablet, really? Out of everything we have, it is far from the most broken thing we could make. And if it helps charge this thing quicker, then I say let's... Let's get it over with. Why are there two of them? Oh, one's a physical tablet, the other one's a placeable thing. Okay. Wait, do I have to expend my Philosopher's Stone? Oh. Either way, let's grab Obsidian and, uh some sort of stone and a philosopher's stone. Now, I have no idea if we just have some spare obsidian lying around. I know for a fact that, oh, uh, never mind, we've got a stack in the backpack. Okay, so we just need four of these. And then, let's just, what, what random stone do we have that we can just throw in here? Limestone, will limestone work? If I use limestone, will that work? If I put limestone here, 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 and here, and then I put obsidian here, 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 and here, and then a philosopher's stone here, will that work? It will. Oh my god, and it didn't even use my philosopher's stone. Wow. And I got an achievement from that, which is transmute this into that, the beginning and the end of everything. But yeah, so this is the transmutation tablet. Basically, if I throw anything in here. So for example, if I take one of these saplings, throw it in here, uh, that should now, if I type in sapling, I now have access to the mystery wood sapling. And if I feed this thing EMC, for example, limestone doesn't have any EMC, but signs do. They're worth 80. If I throw signs in here, not only do I learn the, the, the thing of sign, but it also stored EMC here. And what I can do now is, well, I've got 112 EMC in here, so I can just take out a mystery wood sapling. And then I can take out another mystery wood sapling. And then another mystery wood sapling. It's like a condenser, but it has memory. And as long as it's got EMC, you can throw it in here and search for it. Now, I have no idea if you can feed this EMC using collectors. If you can, this would be incredibly broken. And it's actually something I'm about to test because holy, this is worth testing. Now, we only have this one condenser here that doesn't have, um... Actually, hang on, no, I'm looking at the wrong block there. All of our energy collectors are being currently taken up by a condenser. But if I just stick this adjacent would it start pouring in? No. Okay, also I can put this on a wall, hello? And it, uh, it keeps its inventory. If I type in sapling, it doesn't keep its inventory? That's weird. Huh. Maybe if I take out... Oh, uh, okay, so it does remember but if it doesn't have the EMC, it won't show it. That's smart. Oh, I'm liking this more and more. Uh, right then, so let's just start dropping stuff in here. Uh, but it, it, it only relies on stuff that you feed in. That doesn't mean we can't break this, because trust me, we can break this. It just means we won't be able to break it in the standard way. 
now. We didn't originally build this to break. We will break it later because I break everything that I touch and this is a fun type of breaking. Um, but for now, we just need this to charge the Kleinstar Omega and I think the best way of doing that I stick this on the wall over here in the corner, and then I go over to the computer and I grab us some Aetanalis fuel, because I know we have some of that laying around. Or actually, you know what? Diamond blocks. I have a million EMC just in my hand right here. If I throw a million EMC in here,